9 to 10, but I want it to run from 11. I want it to run to 12, but for 1, 2, and 3 p.m., I don't want this ad to run. You are welcome, welcome to Powerful Ideas by Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are coming to this channel for the first time, please do not forget to like, subscribe. So in this video, I will show you how you can save a lot of costs, you know, advertising on Facebook. So uh, let's give you an example. So uh, this is an ad I've been running for a while. I, I want to show you something. So you might notice that um, sometimes you are getting conversion, midnight, morning, afternoon, and all of that. So what happens to those hours when you don't normally get conversion? You know, Facebook keeps running 24 hours a day, and then sometimes you need to tell it, oh, at these hours, I don't get anything, so don't run at those hours. So I'm going to um, sort my view. Uh, this is the default view, which is by performance. You might want to scroll it all up and then um, you can find um, something as, like this, customized columns, okay? So personally, I like to, you know, see the results first and then, uh, okay, let's put it after the asset name so we we'll know which of the assets we are looking at. Uh, I like to see the impression. I like to see cost per results. Okay, I like to also see reach. So this helps me to, you know, what's going on, um, on in the advertising, okay? I also want to see the, the quality ranking. So, you know, sometimes Facebook tells you, oh, your, your advertising is not good. Uh, we don't like this. We don't like that. So now, you see, now there's a difference. Uh, just after the delivery, I am seeing how many results I have gotten so far. So I've gotten 139 purchases for this particular um, ad, and it means I'm spending uh, a, a 1,286 Naira to get one result. But there's something we need to see now. Just take a look at this. So I'm going to this place. I'm going to sort it by time. Oh, no, I'm going to sort by delivery. And under delivery, I'll scroll down, 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 and then I'll say time of day. Now, here there are two times here. One is time of day for the ad account, and then the second one is for the viewer. Okay, you may not exactly know what the viewer's time zone is at each time, even if you have chosen your, your geography, the places you want this ad to show. Some people travel and all that, so it's safer to use um, the time of day. So now here's the thing. It has all been sorted out for me, and then you will see from this that about 1 a.m., um, I've gotten seven um, purchases, 2 a.m., 4, 3 a.m., 2. So if you go down, you will see there are times when I don't have a purchase or I have the lowest or the least, I would say, and this is 2 to 3 a.m., okay? Now let's see if we have another one. We have uh, 9 to 10 a.m., okay? And let's say, let's uh, write something out. So let's uh, write something out, okay? So from the analysis we are seeing here, uh, let's go from the beginning. We have the list between 2 to 3 a.m., okay? And then uh, also at about... I think I'm missing something. Also, 9 to 10 a.m. And the same thing happens. Um, if we go then we'll see uh, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. And 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So we could simply say 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Okay? P.m. And let's see if we have another one. Okay, and that seems to be all for this particular um, campaign. So here's what we're gonna do. 
um, for you to optimize this campaign, you may want to create another advert. So this is how you save cost. So let's assume I am running a, a, a traffic ad. You could just be running any ad at all. I'm trying to give use this as an example. So um, the ad is up. You know what to do. But I want to concentrate on this place, which is the ad set level. This is where everything happens. This is where you do your real setup, okay? So now to save cost on advertising, I will quickly go down to this place. You see? Show more options. So it shows this ad is running all the time, 24 hours a day, but we can't change anything about it. Yes, that's right. Because we need to change this daily budget to lifetime budget. Once you change that, okay, uh, it's going to be editable. But don't forget to choose how long you want this to run. You maybe want it to run to May, okay, or something like that. So, but once you change from daily budget to lifetime budget, then you can do some editing on this place, right? So, lifetime budgets, okay, and then um, edit. Now, here's where the magic happens. I'm going to select run as on a schedule, and then you see, now, this option allows you to make your choice. Choose whatever time you want your app to run. So from what we have here, you can see, I don't want it to run by between uh, 2 to 3 a.m., 9 to 11 a.m., 1 to 3 p.m. So uh, I'm going to do this now. This is 2 a.m., 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., right? So this is 2 a.m., and this is 3 a.m., and I don't want it to run at those times. And we also have uh, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. I don't want it to run at those times. Uh, we have uh, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. This is um, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. I don't want it to run. Now, here's the thing. What I'm clicking now is not what you're supposed to do, okay? I just want us to know where we should do and where we shouldn't do. So for every day, you could choose for each of the days anyway, but we're going to do this for every day. Now you go back to your adverts, analyze it, and see what works for you. So I can choose for Thursday each time, but instead of that, I would like to choose it for every day, every day. But on these days, I don't want it to run, okay? Every day, every day, every day for each hour of the day, it should run. But when it comes to 9 to 10, I don't want it to run. I, sorry. I don't want it to run for 9 to 10. But I want it to run from 11, I want it to run to 12, but for 1, 2, and 3 p.m., I don't want this ad to run. So I want it to continue from 4 p.m., 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and midnight, voila. So this is how you do it. What happens in this case is that for every day, since I'm using the everyday setup here, the ad will run from um, midnight, to 1 a.m., but it will pause for, uh, from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m., which are the times I have observed that I get the list of um, activities. So, and then from 4 a.m., it continues, skips 9 and 10, continues 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, it doesn't run. And then this is absolute magic that a whole lot of guys are not showing you, all right? Now, here's another thing, still on this ad set. Like I said, the ad set is like the engine. It determines what happens and what doesn't happen. Uh, one thing you need to do is, let's assume I want to run an advert to Nigerians, okay? And uh, especially if it is um, a physical product, okay? If it's a physical product, I'm selling skincare or anything, do not go ahead with this ad set unless you change this location, okay? Click on this place and select people living in this location. A lot of people come into this location and then they leave. And if you are selling physical products, then you might be showing this advert to those who have already left, right? But you want people who are in here so that when they make their purchases, you can actually do the delivery. You don't want someone who just came from uh, Indianapolis to Lagos and has gone back to be seeing your advert. That would be a total waste of money. So first thing first, 
change this to people living in this location, all right? Now, if, if you are limited by number of items in stock or for some certain reasons you cannot deliver to all Nigeria, go ahead and choose those you want this advance to show to, okay? So this is Lagos, Nigeria. Look, this is a state. This is Lagos, Lagos State, Nigeria. This is city. What this means is that Lagos State is the whole of Lagos and a little bit into this neighboring state. I'm going to show you. And Lagos, Lagos State, Nigeria is the interior, the main core of Lagos State, which means it's, going, it's not going to go beyond Lagos State, right? So I'm going to choose Lagos, Nigeria, which is the state, and you're going to see something. So let's go back here. You see? This is Lagos. Let me show you something here. Sorry. This is Lagos. And let's assume I take Lagos, Lagos State, which is a city. You see? It's just the city with about 25 miles around it. All right? So this is number one. The number two, rather. Number one is to choose the specific hours you want your advertising uh, budget to be spent when you believe you get the best result. Number two is to ensure that you are running this advert to people living in this location, especially if it is a physical product. For digital products, it may not really matter. For real estate, sometimes it may not matter. But for if you are into e-commerce, physical product, it really matters a lot all right so you don't want to miss any of these things now another thing you want to do to save cost is um if this is not just a test ad if this is um an ad that you are trying to optimize okay you've done your test and you found what's working and what's not working here is what you should do go into detail targeting if you don't have if you don't have some specific interest you want to run, you want to run zero targeting, still go into detail targeting and get what we call engaged shoppers, okay? See, engaged shoppers are the people who are regular buyers on Facebook. Please do not make mistake of choosing engage. Engage is for relationship status, but engaged shoppers is for those who have been purchasing a lot of things, all right? You see, this targeting of a thing is very, very important. So sometimes I want you to come to browse. Okay, look at demographics. If you are special interested in their location, maybe real estate, or if you want to know what they really want, okay, you go in your interest, for example, you can expand. Let's say we're expanding to fitness and wellness. You find something that really pertains to the people you want this advert to show to, okay? Now, I told you to choose engaged shoppers. Engaged shoppers is actually behavior. So if you come down here, you will see behavior. And then you scroll down, you see it's a purchase behavior where the engaged shoppers, I can see it's already ticked because we picked it already. So guys, I want you to you know, go into your ad manager, look around, you know, find some certain things that you feel will be the game changer for you, implement it, save cost, get the maximum result, in, uh, get increased return on ad spend, and then I want you to always come back here. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be showing you so many hidden pro things about Facebook advertising. So I hope this helps you and I hope uh, you find it interesting. Please like and subscribe. It's so important to me. It's going to you know, encourage me to do more for you. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.